Thoracic spine rehabilitation is performed by using the use of a tube. In order to perform this, we need to tie two small loops in the ends of the tubing, such as this. The bowline is very nice because it never ever comes undone. The bowline, of course, when I was in scouts, was taught to me by what a squirrel did to a tree. Now, you take the tube in one hand and in the other hand, such as this. The right hand goes over and around the tubing. Then put it under and around the tubing in the right or left hand, pulling it through. The bowline is performed by never letting go of the left hand of the tubing. The right hand starts going over the top, then back in through around towards your belly, then taking the tube of the right hand under the tube of the left hand and pulling it through the loop. Stand on the tube. Are you on me? Form the loop in your left hand like this. Go over and form a loop around your two fingers. Under and around the tubing, pulling it through the loop. First, we have to polish the damaged facets, rib heads, or discs of the thoracic spine. This is performed by putting the tubing around both wrists, placing the tubing around the doorknob or any other stable structure. Make sure that the two knots are equidistant away from the door. Then, with light circumduction, you can then traction as far back as you need until you feel it in the affected portion of the spine. Three stretches of the thoracic spine, even like for thoracic outlet syndrome, would be to do a side stretch, placing the tubing both around one wrist and leaning the head, stretching the neck down into the arm. Then, facing the door, sit in the sumo position with the chest up, hand on the knee, push and twist, stretching the rib heads. Then you can even grab the arm and do a complete side stretch of the upper back. The strengthening of the thoracic spine or stabilization is performed by placing the tubing around both of your wrists. Place the tubing around the doorknob, walking back with some light polishing until you feel the correct tension. Then lift the chest to neutral, pull the hands back till they touch the ribs, getting in a comfortable position. Then doing a short range of motion, pumping action, pulling the shoulder blades together and back. Taking the tubing and placing it over the top, or holding the, both tubes in one hand, placing the tube through the other in one hand like this with two fingers in, two fingers out. Placing the tubing over the door and doing a pull down for the lower ribs, lower thoracic spine. You can also take the tubing, place it under the foot, neutral position. Pull the shoulders up into a shrug for the upper thoracic spine. Also, the antagonist, the antagonist of the thoracic spine or the front. This is, this is a side stretch where you maximize the stretch of the shoulder joint 
pulling the scapula around the front and opening up the rib heads in back. Then you can work the lower ribs by taking the tubing, holding it in one hand, doubling it up, putting your hand in in this fashion, two fingers in, two fingers out. Place the tubing over the top of the door. Hold the door with your belly. If you pull, leaning back, the tubing is going to come off the top of the door and hit you in the face. So make sure the tubing's over the door. Lean against the door. Elbows down. Pulling your elbows down to the twelfth rib. You can also place the tubing under your foot. Stand in neutral position. Pull the shoulders up to the point of tension. So comfortable position, comfortable short motion. Adjust the tube tension and do short shrugs until it feels comfortable. The antagonists of the back ribs, meaning the chest muscles, also need to be worked in some conditions. This is done very well by placing the tubing around the door, making sure the knots are equidistant from the door, taking one arm, placing it over your head, holding the tubing around, and un around your thumbs in this fashion, and then you can work lower pec, middle pec, upper pec. Or upper ribs, middle ribs, and lower rib cartilage. That concludes thoracic rehabilitation.